everyone it's Anya here I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I am back with my four threads remember we used the four colors in that bag that I made in the previous video um, but today we are going to make decoration for the bag and here are my flowers that I have made up to now um, so I have started and I will be showing you how to make the uh, flowers and the leaves now I haven't um, put in or haven't sewn in any end because here they all are I've left them quite long because I am actually using the ends to sew them onto the bag so I didn't want to get rid of them or sew them in because then you would have to get another piece of um, you know wool out to attach them so there is method to my madness <laughs> and I'm just going to leave that here I've just put them in a nice um, you know sort of a formation for you to look at um, I've made some flowers with and without um, a, a different colour in the centre, so you can do that too. Um, there is one pattern, but you can make a small flower and a big flower with that. So let me show you how to make the leaf. So we have <clears throat> our duck egg blue, which I'm thinking is a little bit like green, so I'm going to use that for my leaves. I've just made a slip knot and I am going to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not too tight, not too loose. Okay. Now we're going to skip this ninth chain here and we are going to do into the eighth chain, we are going to do a single crochet. Into the next chain. We are going to do a half double crochet and into the next one a half double crochet. Into the next one we are doing a double crochet. So <clears throat> yarn over, yes, if it wants to. <laughs> uh, and into the chain right about there. Make sure you don't skip any chains here or you don't put two in the same stitch so another double crochet so we've got single two half double and two double now we're going to go down again by doing two half double so a half double in the next stitch and a half double in the next stitch and then we've got one stitch left and that's where we do our single crochet there we go okay now we do a chain because we need to turn and we need a little bit of space so this is where we're at now we're turning this way okay so you don't turn any other way you just turn it upside down and we are now going to work in that third leg of that starting chain so this one here okay and so we've done our chain we are now back to where we need to do that first single crochet there we go then half double half double double and you should have the same size stitch on top of the same size stitch on the other side there we go then we're back at the half double crochets and here is one as well then we are here at the single crochet so let's do a single one and what I do then is I find this stitch here and I do a slip stitch into it just to sort of make a little bit of a pointy end to my leaf and then I start doing slip stitches through the middle of my leaf like this you should technically do eight as you've got eight stitches I've not ever counted them <laughs> really I'm just I just do them at the same sort of spaces same intervals almost how many have I got one two three four five six seven yeah well one short anyway it doesn't matter it's just so that 
your leaf is finished off nicely okay but also it brings you back to the start so all your ends will be on the same side then I tend to do a slip stitch just round the edge of my leaf just to finish it off and then I cut it off quite long because I use the ends for sewing on so this is one of my leaves made and let's take a look at how the flower is made right so now we are ready to start the flower so we're going to do a magic circle and we are going to start with just a chain into that magic circle like so then we do a single crochet and a chain and we need to repeat this so we have five chain spaces so I've got two three four and five so we close our magic circle we find that first single crochet, so not the chain, but the single crochet, you go into that and you do a slip stitch to close up, which is my, yeah, this one, to close up your circle. There we go. Okay, so now here we have five single crochets and five chain spaces. This is what you need to do the petals. So we'll be making the petals into the chain spaces. If you are not changing colors here, you will have to slip stitch to the first chain space to get started. Okay, and let's get our hook in two. And if I do change color, I always go back to the chain space just in front of my um, of my end there of my fastening of there so let's get going on this one so I pull through my wool and I do a chain like so around the chain space just so that it's attached and I pull it at the other end right so I'm trying to hold on to everything here <laughs> okay now we're doing a three chains one two three then into that same chain space we are going to do a double crochet another double crochet and then we do three chains one two three and we bring it down with a slip stitch into that same chain space there we go Okay, so that's one petal made. Then we are going to go and look for that next chain space. And I'm going to try and take this one. No, just leave it there because I can use it. So leave the ends for sewing your flower onto your bag. So a slip stitch into the next chain space. And we repeat the same thing. So three chains, two double crochets. And three chains, one, two, three, and a slip stitch. And that's how we're going to go round all the way. Okay, so I've made it to the end of the round and I generally do another slip stitch into there, into the next um, chain space just to finish off my flower. Now, this is the small flower so if you want to finish here for this size flower then you can you just cut it off and you uh, pull it through so then you have a small flower but this flower is slightly bigger so oh no now I've destroyed my nice display here <laughs> oh well never mind <laughs> um, so this time we are going to just continue with our, our next round and that is four chains one two three four then you find the space in between the two single cro uh, two double crochets here and you go under the v there and you do a single crochet one two three four chains 
and you go in between here and here you will find a V and you go under that and you do a single crochet. Did that split a little bit? Yeah. And then another one, two, three, four and you continue doing that. So you attach another row of chains around your petals that you've already done. One, two, three, four. I forgot to count then. <laughs> and you attach them each time at the bottom there with a single crochet. And that will make your petals bigger and will also make your flower bigger. And we are nearly there. We are at the end here. So I find that V to do a single crochet in. And we have made it to the end of our round. And we have a bigger flower. So don't cut off your yarn too short. You're going to use it to sew it onto the back. So there we go. So that's the bigger flower. And as you can see here, the middle, you still have to pull it closed. Not that one, but this one. There we go. So now we have a small middle. So these are the bigger flowers that we have made just now. And these are the smaller flowers which you cut off before you do that last row. These are the flowers without changing colours. And these are the leaves. So I think I am ready to put it on my bag. So I filmed this for you in time lapse because it was going to take far too long to show you all. I first of all pinned them onto the bag and then I sewed them on one by one using the long threads that I left on my uh, flowers that I made. I quite like the way it turned out and as you can see slowly but surely uh, more, more of the pins and the ends are disappearing. So here it is, I've finished my bag, I've put on all the flowers in sort of a, a pleasing manner and I'm really happy with it. Um, I haven't put in any of the ends here because what I do is I put a lining in and um, so that is for the next time I get my sewing machine out, I will make a lining and um, all the ends will have disappeared. So I hope you enjoyed this project, do try it, I had lots of fun doing this and I hope you did too. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!